guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i wanted to try this new sephora favorites kit that i saw um online and i just had to get it it's the sephora favorites fresh face refresh um this is like the first sephora favorite set that i actually think is worth the money <laughs> Uh, even though I have bought a lot of other ones in the past, this one just seems like it has a really good mix of full size and deluxe size products and even the deluxe sizes are like pretty good um, value. So I just wanted to try this out uh, in a video because it does claim that you can use this whole set for a full face look. So. Um, it says Dewy Favorites for a full fresh face look and it's $45 US, $59 Canadian um, and in US the value is $148 and in Canadian it's $194 so that's pretty good. Um, so I'll just go through each product. Um, it's described like everything's on here but I'll just show you the actual product but yeah I just wanted to read the little description on the back because it says kit with trending glowy products to create a full face effortless no makeup makeup look this kit includes four full size and five deluxe products to create the perfect fresh face look so if you guys didn't know I'm really into like a no makeup makeup look especially in the summer um i know i've been doing like a lot of like different eyeshadow looks in my videos but for like a realistic makeup look in the summer i'm more going for like a effortless kind of thing um and i did actually film yesterday i hope it's like gonna be around a 10 minute makeup look we'll see when i edit it but i thought it'd be interesting to like see how this compares because in that video I use like nothing new like all products from my project pan or my shop my stash but I think I'll post this video first just to give some variety because I feel like I've been doing a lot of videos with those products that you've seen many times and some of them aren't even available anymore so this is like a way to showcase some new products and Sephora claims that they're trending, so let's see what that's about. So first of all, I have to say the bag that it comes with is actually really nice. I love how it's like, well it's obviously just like a plastic kind of thing, but it's very like malleable, so I think it'd be really good for traveling. I'm actually going on a trip, so I think I might take this with me because it's like big enough to put all my other stuff in it too. So yeah, I really like this bag. Sometimes the bags are like very stiff that they give you with these sets, but this one's nice. Has the um, same like material for the zipper thing. And yeah, just opens all the way around. So they do put like this crinkle paper just to like, you know, make it so that all the products aren't flying around. So let's just disregard that but let me show you each product before i use it so the first one here is a lip product this is from the brand ilia and this is the balmy gloss tinted lip oil in the shade tahiti i've actually never tried an ilia lip product before so i think so I'm excited about this and I love lip oils and this one has like a really nice like rosy tone so I like that. Uh, the next thing is a product I actually have already so I won't open this one but I'm definitely going to keep this as a backup. It's the Rare Beauty Always, Op Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer so I already have this in the actual mini size. So just to give you a comparison, this is the actual mini size like you would buy as a mini, like on its own. And this is the size they gave you in the bag. So obviously it's like a lot smaller, but it's still good for travel. Um, the, how much is in here? This is 5 milliliters and the real mini size is 15. So 
this is three times the amount of the one that you get but i really love this primer so i'm happy to have another little one that i'll keep for like traveling but because this one's already open i'm going to use this today and the next product i am very excited about because it was actually on my loves list but i don't need another full size cream blush so i'm happy to have this one this is the Tarte Breezy Cream Blush in the shade Peach Sunset, and that is the shade that I wanted anyway. So this is not the full size, but this is still like a great amount of product for a cream breath, for a cream blush. Because um, just for reference, I'll show you my Fenty Cream Blush, which is a full size product. Look at this. This is a sample size. But I don't know like how thin the pan is, but still like I have enough cream, cream blushes to last me a lifetime. So this is a great way to try the product. And something, something strange I just had to mention because I did get the uh, Sephora Favorites Clean Makeup Kit. Um, recently, fairly recently. So in that kit, they gave us the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer. And this is the size that they gave in that kit. This is a bronzer, may I remind you. Look at this. And this is the sample blush. So like, shouldn't they have made the blush sample this size and the bronzer this size? Because Bronzer brushes are normally way bigger than a brush you'd use for blush. I just found that kind of strange. Like, I don't know. But I think the clean makeup kit was at a lower at a lower price point. So I guess that's why like they didn't give you a bigger size of this. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that and just to show you how good of a size this actually is. The next product is a full size product and it's another thing that I'm very excited to try. It's the Iconic London Sheer Bronze. So it's a liquid bronzer in a tube and I'm just really intrigued by this. I actually don't have any liquid bronzers in my collection unless you count the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzing Essence, but I don't because this is like not a product I can use as a bronzer really. But this is more meant to be like specifically a bronzer. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. And I have the shade Caramel Glow. And I did like swatch it and it looked like a really nice, like warm, but not like too warm shade. So yeah. Happy to have that, and that's a full size. And then we have another mini size, and this product is another product that was on my loves list, and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray in the like true mini size, like the one you can buy at Sephora. So I'm very excited to try this because I follow um, Babs Beauty and Makeup by Cheryl. They're like some of my favorite YouTubers and they rave about this. They say like this is the only setting spray they actually ever need. So I'm really excited about this. I normally don't go for setting sprays that claim to be like making your makeup last longer because I'm more into like giving me a glow and stuff. But I feel like this kind of does that too. Like it kind of helps to um, melt all your products together so that's very exciting to have in this kit because that's expensive. Um, do they have the prices on here? No they don't have the prices of the like separate products but I know that one is like up there. The next product is another full size product and it's the Benefit Roller Liner in the shade brown. So this is another fun one because I don't have any liquid um, liners that are brown in my collection and I'm excited to try this. I don't normally do liquid liner but because this is a brown shade I feel like I can use this more like 
I don't have to be doing like a full glam look to make this work because it's more like a neutral shade. So yeah, another one that I'm excited to try. And then we got the Patrick Ta Shaping Wax. Another product, I was like, that's pretty good that they put that as a full size in a Sephora kit because Patrick Ta is very expensive if you guys didn't know and it's the full size shaping wax so as far as I understand this is kind of like the Anastasia brow freeze this came out first though and I never like was gravitated towards this because I didn't really feel at the time I wanted a wax for my brow, but then when the brow freeze came out and I saw it was more like, I don't know, it's just marketed differently, I guess, because it is also kind of a wax. It's just more, it just seems to be more like soft, if that makes sense. But they're both kind of like the same product as in like you have your product in a little unit here and then you have to use a spoolie to like get it out but I think this is more meant to like give you the full like fluffy um, brow trend so yeah we'll see how it goes um, I don't think oh you do have to yeah so it says activate the formula with setting mist or water so yeah the brow freeze you just go right in but this one you do have to activate it so the formula is more stiff but the fun thing about it is that they gave us the Patrick Ta spoolie, the full size one, to use with. And I was like, that's good because I needed a new spoolie. I only have like two spoolies and one of them I use like just to like brush my hair sometimes so I don't put product. And the other one is like completely... Um, not ruined but completely being used for my brow freeze so it's all like sticky all the time <laughs> so I'm glad to have another one and yeah it's just a basic spoolie with the brush like the spoolie on one end and like a liner brush on the other um, it feel it doesn't feel like it should be too expensive but it probably is considering it's Patrick Ta so it's good that we just got it with the product that it's meant to be used for because I wouldn't want to buy that like separately full price if you know what I mean and then the last product is a mini size but it's a mascara so I'm glad it's mini size because I have already enough mascaras that um, I have as backups um, but I will be opening a new mascara today to try this one. It's the Anastasia, what is this called? The Anastasia Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara Mini in the shade Black. So yeah, I think, I don't remember if people, I don't know if people really liked this when it came out. I think a lot of people compared it to the Fenty one and they said they liked the Fenty better, but I don't know. I seem to have strange taste in mascaras because a lot of mascaras I like, no one else does. <laughs> so I don't know. Or at least they have like mixed reviews. So I'm gonna try this one today um, because I actually don't really have a volumizing mascara open right now. I have lengthening mascaras only, so. Yeah, that's cool. So that's it. So that's everything that came in this kit and I'm gonna use it all on my face today. And like I said at the beginning, they do claim this is like a full face, effortless, no makeup, makeup look. And they didn't include a foundation or a concealer. So we're gonna try without those products today. And to be honest, if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look, I don't use foundation anyway. So yeah, I'm just it's just the concealer part that I'm like, we'll see about that. But yeah, let me just get started because this video has already been long enough. So I'm going to put my Rare Beauty primer on, the one that I already have open. So this primer I do feel is quite illuminating, so I'm interested to see what it looks like if I only wear the primer because um, the other primer that I like to use on its own 
is my um, First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer. But that one is more like a moisturizer. Anyway, it's like a two-in-one, whereas this is specifically a primer. So, I mean, I think you can see how that already gave me a lot of shine. So I'm not gonna put like a second layer, that's enough. The next product I'm gonna use is the bronzer. This one I am a little more scared <laughs> because I, like I said, I don't own any other liquid bronzers in my collection. But I think what I'm gonna do is just like um, put the product on my finger and then dab it on where I would put bronzer and then blend it with a, a brush. I guess I should maybe try with a sponge. I have to wet my sponge then I'll be back. Okay, so I got my sponge damp. Because I think I might prefer to blend this out with a sponge. We'll see. I also don't know how much to use. So I'm going to start with that much and see what happens, I guess. <laughs> okay, I might need more than that for up here, but let's just see the shade um, like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> That was like the easiest thing ever. Um, yeah. So now I see why this is called the sheer bronze. Look at that. Okay. That might be the easiest bronzer application I've ever done. Like I don't even feel like I need to keep blending that. And I like the shade that it gave me. I mean, um, that being said, I think if you have like a deeper skin tone than me, you might need to layer this more. Um, Cause yeah, I'm putting another layer on myself and it's still like just barely there kind of. Okay, I think I really like that. And I kind of feel like it has a glowy finish, or is, I don't know, that might just be the <laughs> Rare Beauty Primer underneath, but, oh, I like that. It gave me like a slight like tint of warmth. Nice. I'm just curious to know what are the other shades of that bronzer? Because there is a shade name, it's called Caramel Glow, so what are the other ones? And this product is $33, um, by the way. Okay, there is six shades. Oh, interesting. One of them is like very, almost like a highlighter shade. They say that it's beige. Yeah, it looks like this one is kind of like... The middle shade, it's hard to tell because they're not like in, in any kind of order, but there's like, well this one's described as caramel. You also have beige, nude, tan, chocolate, which is deeper, and ebony, which is the deepest shade. So it looks like a good shade range. Okay. That might be like my new favorite summer bronzer because that was just effortless. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is the blush. So I have tried the Tarte bronzer, the breezy bronzer, but I haven't tried the blushes. I wonder if it's like the exact same formula, just like different tones. Um, so I'm gonna use my normal brush that I use for cream blush, it's the e.l.f hairbrush stipple and we'll see how that goes maybe I'll blend it out with my sponge I'm always scared to put my sponge directly into a pan product because you never know how the formula will react to like having water directly in it so that's why I normally use a brush for blush for cream blush I like this shade also. Okay. 
yeah, another effortless product. I see how like they call this the um, effortless no makeup makeup because all of these products have been effortless already. <laughs> Ooh, yes, I love this. <laughs> we'll see how it wears because I tend to love most cream blushes when I first put them on, but some of them just like disappear into my skin. So we'll see how this one lasts. So far, the Fenty ones have been the most long wearing for me. Um, so I kind of compare everything to that. So we'll see, but that shade is great. Very like, just what it says, peach sunset. It's a peachy neutral blush it blends really nicely into the bronzer shade also. Ooh, this is going well so far. <laughs> that is actually all the base products already on and no concealer. Which like maybe if I wasn't filming, like if I wasn't testing solely this kit, I'd probably just do some spot concealing like on my chin and here where I have some blemishes, but I don't know, just like it's fine for for this look. I'm just thinking if I should put the setting spray on now. I think I will. So I'm gonna just set this with the airbrush flawless setting spray. I'm a bit concerned about the fragrance on this. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a lot. But this says it primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Instantly lock in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied. Hold six to eight inches away and mist over entire face before and after. Okay, maybe I should have put this on before too, but anyway, normally I don't. I use setting spray as like my last step normally, so yeah, let's see. It's not working. No! Oh my god. Okay. Okay, the f there is a fragrance, but it's not as strong as I thought it would be for some reason. I just imagined a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray would be extra, and I thought like it would be very scented, but no, it's really not too bad at all. And it's kind of like refreshing scent, so yeah. Um, and I did like the mist on it. At first I was worried that it wasn't working, but I just had to get like the air going. It didn't drench me, which is good. So I do agree, hold six to eight inches away. That seems to be the right amount. So should we do my brows next? I think I'm kind of scared about this part because these kind of like brow waxes and things, I feel like there's like always a learning curve to them. And this one, it said I had to wet it. So I'm actually gonna use my, um, the setting spray. I'm just wondering if I should wet, should I wet like this directly or wet the spoolie? No, it says activate the formula with setting mist or water. So directly, then brush spoolie on. Brush a spoolie or a firm brush into the pan to pick up a small amount of wax and brush through clean brows in an upward, outward motion. Shape as desired. Okay, so let's use the setting spray to activate it. So I'm just going to spray directly in the pan. Okay, maybe over here. So it looks like that. Then I'm gonna take this spoolie. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a lot stiffer than the brow freeze. I could probably use more setting spray, but let's just try. There is a mirror on this too, which I like. I think I'll just use the mirror. Do, do I zoom in? I'm always afraid when I change the, the frame because then I'm like, down here at the end. So let's see how this works. I hope I'm in camera. 
Oh. Okay, yeah. It's working. <laughs> So there's with the shaping wax and without, you can see the difference. So the question is, how long will this stay up? So let me do the other one. I'm just going to spray it a bit more. The thing is, like, you end up spraying the mirror. So, I don't know, just wanted to point that out. And it's like hard to even tell if I'm picking up any product, but if I look closely, I can like see it on the spoolie and obviously you can see it here. So I don't have like a lot of brow hairs. Well, I, I actually, I do have a lot of brow hairs, but they're very thin. So, I mean, most people would probably want to fill this in after, but you would have to put this on first and then fill in your brow. But I'm just going to use this product and see what it looks like, like at the end. Because the goal is to only have to use the products in this kit to see if I can really get a full face look. Yeah, I am noticing like if you keep moving this around, it starts to look, uh, you can see the product kind of flaking. So yeah, I don't think you have a lot of working time on this. It is more something you just kind of just throw on and then leave how it looks. But okay, this is already, I can see it's doing more lifting than the brow freeze does for me. The brow freeze, it does do what it says. Like it, it shapes your brow and it remains movable, but it doesn't like, stick down like this one does like I can feel <laughs> that my brows are like stuck to my face so I guess it's like what your preference is but yeah this made my brows a lot more um like spread out and lifted so we'll see how it wears throughout the the rest of the video okay so the only thing we have left is the eyeliner and the mascara. So, we all know I'm not too well versed in applying liquid liner, and because this is such like a no makeup makeup look, I'm not gonna do like a full wing or anything, but I think I wanna use this, maybe I'll do like a tiny little baby wing just to give some color like to my lash line, and I've never tried the roller liner before. It doesn't have like a ball in it or anything that you shake and it is a marker. So it looks like this. Let's do a swatch. That is like a very rich brown. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. I hope I'm in frame. <laughs> So let's just see, like, if I do this. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get as close to my lash line as possible. Ugh, and I already had two cups of coffee. So I'm a little jittery. Okay, now I'm just trying to even them out. I will say this is a lot richer of a brown than I expected for some reason. I just got that on my eye. 
Um, it's very easy to wipe off, so I'm a little concerned about transfer. Is that even at all? I don't know. Anyway, I think you can see. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this was that easy to use. Even for me, who's someone very bad at applying liner. Well, I just... I guess it's not that I'm bad at it, I just never do it, so it's not like a, it's not in my muscle memory, but um, just to compare with one that I actually find is easy to use, it's this uh, VDL Expert Deep Matte, that, but it's a different, you know, component, because this is what they call like an inkwell liner, where the product's in here and you dip the brush. But it kind of is like a similar shape, right? Maybe a bit smaller. But this one I found uh, easier to use than the roller lash. Maybe because this is much thicker. Yeah, it's like a thicker, it's thicker here. So it's harder to like do this motion, if you know what I mean. But I like the color of it. Let's just see what it looks like with the mascara on. So finally the mascara, the Lash Frag Volumizing Mascara. I do like the packaging. Oh, so this is like a classic Too Faced kind of better than sex mascara, hourglass shape. I do usually like that, so. Oh, okay. It is like a drier formula than what I'm used to. Okay. I don't know. This seems to be more like a lengthening mascara, if you ask me. Rather than a volumizing one. I feel like volumizing mascaras are usually more like thicker, like the product goes on more thick. And this is like allowing me to keep applying many coats and it's not getting clumpy. That did not volumize, <laughs> that lengthened. But if you guys like watch my other videos, you know that's what I prefer anyway. But I feel like someone actually buying this because it says volumizing would be disappointed in that aspect because this is not volumizing at all, really. I'm wondering if it's maybe the mini size because sometimes I feel mascaras in the mini size compared to the full art could be totally different because of just the component. Like, I feel like a lot of product is getting removed from the brush when I pull it out. I don't know if the big size does that as well, but just to note. Um, let's see how this builds. But like, don't you want a volumizing mascara to be volumizing? Like right off the gate? Because any mascara can be volumizing if you keep layering it and layering it on. Um, but yeah, I guess I am getting more volume now after like the first layers dried. I mean, I, I do like the mascara. I just was expecting something different, I think. But we'll have to see like how it wears. Because a lot of mascaras look good at first, but then they're like flaking and smudging at the end of the day. And my face it does not feel tacky or anything um, just to note because I only have cream products on and a setting spray um, but yeah it feels like everything is good so the oh I think I said that was the last product but the last product is actually the lip product which I am very excited about because I love lip products I probably should have put my lip balm on earlier like I normally do but I forgot so We'll see. So this was called the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. I wonder if it's like especially... 
I wonder if this will be just like the Merit lip oil because it looks kind of like that. Ooh, ooh, that is like a nice, I didn't expect it to be that bright. It looked more like a rosewood kind of shade in the tube, but it's like a nice bright pink. And the pink that I like, not like a like pale pink. So I'm into this. Um, it does feel exactly like how it's described, a balmy gloss, but a tinted lip oil. <laughs> And I think I like it better than the Merit one because it's more like, I just feel like it's spread more evenly, the pigment and the formula. And it's it remains glossy, but it does feel like a lip balm, which I like. Kind of like my, um, my Rare Beauty this thing, the balm thing that I never know the name of, but this is more like slippery. This feels like, I don't know, more substantial. So I like it. And yeah, let's just see this overall look. So this is what everything looks like. I mean, considering I didn't put any concealer or foundation on, and I love how this looks. I think they kind of um, nailed it with this curation of products because I'm comfortable enough to wear this um, like out or even at night. Um, yeah, I really like everything, I think. <laughs> I mean, I already knew I liked the primer because I have this already. I wouldn't say I'm surprised how much I like this because I have heard really good reviews on this already so I was kind of expecting to like it but I wasn't expecting it to apply that easily so this is a winner. The brow product I mean it did do what it's supposed to do which is like make my brows look more fluffy I guess um, it is stickier than the brow freeze, but I'm, I think I actually like that. So, cause it does, I don't feel like I have to do anything else and it, it feels like it's going to stay that way. So I'll actually probably leave in the description box an update on how all the products were, um, and let you know like how I felt about it at the end. Also the mascara, I love how it looks right now, but let's see how it wears, cause that's the most important. And my battery's gonna die, so I think I have to go. But yeah, um, everything was great. So I'll leave the update below just in case anything goes south, but I really like everything. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful if you were considering picking this up maybe you want to get on that because it did sell out like twice already so just to let you know and yeah if you like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye